Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sylvia if this is your first time here. So CoverGirl has asked a couple of YouTubers to join in the summer makeup look tag, which I thought would be a lot of fun to be a part of. So I signed up and they sent me a bunch of these cool new products. So for my take on the summer look in partnership with CoverGirl, I'm going to be doing this soft smoky eye with this pop of color bold lip. It's summer, so I definitely wanted to add some color. You're tan, you're out having fun, so I figured why not? All right, so let's get started. So starting off with the clean, fresh face, I go in with the Simply Ageless Anti-Aging Foundation Primer, and it is actually a really, really great primer. It definitely helped my foundation stay all day and really smooth out pores. Then I went in with the CoverGirls Clean 125 in Buff Beige Foundation, and again, this color actually matched me perfect, which I'm so picky about finding the right color, as I'm sure most of us are. Then for some light contouring, I went in with the True Blend Contour Palette, and this is a cream contour, which I actually really like. I don't use cream contours enough, I think. I normally do stick to powders, but this was actually really easy to work with and really easy to blend, and it gives you more of that kind of glowy, actual, like, real tan, which I love. Then for blush, I used the CoverGirl True Blend Blush. And it was really pigmented, really easy to blend. Um, I think that's kind of how I pick my blushes, how well they blend. Then for eyeshadow, I went in with the True Naked Nudes Palette. And this is every neutral girl's dream. You can create the most perfect smoky eye with a huge range of nude colors. It really, you can go from subtle to absolutely evening dramatic look with this palette. I was actually once told that it's not even the quality of the eyeshadow really that matters as long as you blend, 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 and you have, you know, a nice fluffy brush. That is really how you're going to get the best application. So working darker and darker colors into the crease. Then going in with that center shimmery kind of color, I just apply that to my lid just to finish off the look. Then for the eyebrows, I went in with an angled brush using that taupey color and just filled in any gaps I had in my eyebrows with just kind of wispy strokes. Then going in with the darkest color in the palette, I just created a very soft winged liner look. Love doing this with powder, especially if you're not very good or a beginner with, you know, eyeliner gels or anything like that. Perfect way to get the same look with a slightly softer feel. Then for lashes, I use the Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. It is a mouthful, but it was great for lengthening and volumizing my lashes. And lastly, I'm gonna finish off with this Katie Cat Matte Lipstick in Magenta Minks. All right guys, so that is it. This is my summer makeup look with a pop of color. As you guys know me, I definitely tend to stay more on the neutral side. So um, for those of you that are the same, I hope this has inspired you to try a little pop of color and to just try something a little new. So hope you enjoyed this video. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here and give this a thumbs up if you'd like to see more makeup looks. And I'll see you next time.
Bye. And for the person that likes to keep it super neutral, is it weird that I almost prefer this really dark lipstick for summer? I'd wear a nude lip to anything super glamorous, and then to the pool, I'd wear this black lip.